Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's Beer 30. Let's go take a walk, see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by. Today's beer is Duclaw's Coco Fuego, which is a stout brew with chocolate and chipotle peppers. And I'm a big stout fan. I like that uh, chocolatey, roasty uh, flavor that I get in the stouts. And this is brewed with chipotle peppers. And they, they did another one uh, a year or two ago that had chipotle peppers in it. And it was okay. Uh, I actually bought a six pack of this because I'm a big fan of Duclaw stuff. Uh, I like most of the stuff that they do. Uh, usually it's pretty tasty. Uh, they there are some that I they were so so, but most of the stuff is pretty tasty. Uh, I don't know yet. This says bottled on February first, twenty fourteen. So not too old of a beer. Not quite two months old. This is a seven. 0.5% ABV beer, so it's going to keep for a uh, considerable a little while. Uh, the uh, the beer is considered a stout, but it has peppers in it. Uh, the IBUs on this beer is 85, which is kind of high for a stout, in my opinion. That's just my opinion, guys. Uh, that's that's almost to the IPA. Uh, standards for, uh, for IBUs. The uh, food pairings for this, cuisine is barbecue, cheese is a buttery brie, gouda, havarti, swiss, earthy, camembert, and fontina. And since it is a salad, it goes with your chocolate dishes. And the meat is shellfish, smoked meat, game, and grilled meat, glass bar, and plank, becker, nonic, tumbler, mug, or style or sidea. I like my stouts in the double glass. Uh, that's just me. That's just what I like. I could just as easy pour it in a pint glass, but I like the, the way this glass enhances the aromas just a little bit. And it says here, not recommended for extended salaries, but unless, uh, unless it's boozy and you're wanting to salary it to, to ease that up a little bit or hop forward, uh, I don't know why you would lose anything by trying to sell this beer unless the, the pepper taste or the chipotle uh, presence is going to diminish over time. So. I don't plan on selling any of the, the uh, beers that I bought in the six pack of these. Uh, I'm probably going to drink them up pretty quick, but uh, it is what it is. So let's get the cap off of this bad boy and see what it's about. So into the glass we go. Let's go down the center and see what we get. Not much head for a down the center pour on a 7.5%. Over into the light. It is pretty dark, guys. I don't see much light coming around it. It is pretty, pretty black. Not much light coming through that. And not much head with that direct down the center pour on this one either. So let's get a nose on it. Very interesting sm smell with this. So the aromas. I am smelling the peppers in the aroma. I am smelling some sweetness in there too. So I'm getting some hot and some sweet in there. There's some chocolate. A little bit of chocolate in there. Not a whole lot. Maybe just a hint of some dark fruit. Roasted malt, caramel, toffee smells come to mind. Very, very interesting smell. It's got a very sweet smell to me. And I do smell the peppers, so let's see if we can taste the peppers. Cheers, everybody.
the peppers are there. I am getting a slight heat, not much, but I am getting slight heat on the phone. Now, if you're not used to, yeah, and I eat a lot of peppers. I love peppers. If you're not used to it, you might think this is really hot, but to me, it's not that hot. Roasted malt, hint of chocolate, caramel toffee, and a hint of some dark fruit. The peppers are fairly prominent, though. It has a nice sweetness on the front of the tongue. Then as it goes down, you, you get the heat from the peppers. Now I've read a bunch of different reviews. Some people like this beer. Some people do not like this beer. There's a lot of people that it's either on one side of the fence or they're on the other side of the fence. See, this is one of the beers either you like it or you don't like it. I mean, it's... It's, it's not a lot of people say it's okay. They, they say they either I, I don't, I hate it, or I love it. I don't think it's an outstanding beer, but it has a nice heat to go with the chocolate and the roasted malt in this beer. Like I said, some may think it's got too much heat. But I like that. I, 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 like I said, I, I'm a big hot pepper fan. I like hot peppers. And for the sweetness on the front of this beer, I'm not getting any alcohol. The alcohol is very well hidden. But the pepper presence is definitely there, guys. So uh, let's let this warm up. It's right out of the fridge, 40 degrees. And, uh, sip on it a little bit and we'll come back and do the final chug on this one i don't think i don't think it's an outstanding beer right now so we'll let it warm up and we'll come back and do the final chug and crate on this one guys all right guys i'm back got just a little bit left here if you like a, a, a chipotle pepper stout you'll probably like this if you do not like a chipotle pepper stout you probably will not like this in my opinion, I like a, I like a, I'm a, I'm a pepper fan. I like a nice hot pepper, but to me, this beer is not as balanced as it should be. The pepper, the pepper taste is a little overdone to match the sweetness of the stout. It's not bad. It's definitely not bad beer. It's a well-made beer because I'm seven and a half percent. I don't get any of the alcohol, but the the pepper taste is overpowering everything else. There is a slight sweetness on the front of the beer. Now that it's warmed up, it's not as good to me warmed up as it was when it was cold out of the refrigerator. Uh, the peppers overwhelm everything: the chocolatiness, the roastiness. The caramel, the toffee, the dark fruit, it's all overwhelmed by the pepper in this beer. I personally think it should have a little more sweetness to match that peppery taste. So I would have added more malt to get the, the balance in there. So I, I think they've added just a little too much of the pepper, chipotle pepper taste to this beer. Now if it was like a 9 percenter with this much, uh, pepper taste it probably would balance out just a little bit more now this is just my opinion guys but to me now that it's warmed up the peppers are a little overwhelming for the rest of the beer so let's do the final chug on this one the initial drink is fine but after it goes down the heat of the pepper comes into play and it overtakes everything else. I mean, you, do, you don't get the chocolatiness or, or, or the roastiness or, or anything else. I mean, the, the pepper is overwhelming everything else. So, decent beer.
Not an outstanding beer as far as I'm concerned. Not a bad beer either. Just, just if you like a hot, if you like a hot pepper, and you like a stout, you'll probably like this. But I think the pepper is the pepper is a little overdone in this beer. So with that being said, guys, it's got the date on the bottle, so that's a good thing. Thumbs up to them for that. And and Declaw, I, I like just about everything they do, and I like this beer, but I don't I don't think it's an outstanding beer. I don't think it's an A beer. So that's where I'm going to leave it, guys. Uh, I'm going to give this a 7, which is a B plus. There are a lot better stouts out there, but there's not a lot of pepper stouts out there. Uh, and, and all these breweries are, are, are branching out and doing different things. And, and this is just one of them. And like I said, I think they did a pepper stout a couple years ago that had a different name or something on it. So, uh, but I think the pepper taste on this is a little overdone. And sometimes you'll get a pepper beer and it's underdone. It'll be too sweet and not have enough of the pepper in there. So I don't think it's quite balanced to where it should be for this type of beer. I think it should have a little bit more maltiness to it. Or maybe even a 9% with, with this pepper taste in it to balance it out. Which would, be, which would mean more malt. So uh, better cold than it is hot in my opinion. So with that being said, let's see what everybody else thinks. Let's go over to... Beer Advocate first. Beer Advocate says 82. Uh, would not argue with that a bit. It says it's in their good range. It is a good beer. It is a good beer. Not an outstanding beer, not a great beer, but it's a good beer. Especially if you like a stout, you like a pepper stout. So, over to Rate Beer. Rate Beer says, ooh, and they're not kind at all. 50 overall and 33 in the style. So, my numbers are way above that. I mean, if I was... If I was grading on that scale, man, it would be down to probably the 5, which is a B minus. Maybe even a 4, which is a C. So, uh, but I, I enjoyed it. Uh, I, just, I just think it's not, not balanced to where it should be. For 7.5 for center, it drank well. Very well made beer. But for the heat of the peppers, there was not enough sweetness to match that, that heat. So that's where I'm going to leave it, guys. If you had this from Duclaw, their Coco Fuego, let me know what you think of it. Whether you liked it, loved it, couldn't stand it, and uh, hit that like button. Always hit that like button. Rate, comment, subscribe if you hadn't already. And let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. Yeah, we might find us an A beer. Join me then.